hurts in the middle of the wood. And on top of that, we can only use one material. My toe, my toe. Only one material? <laughs> Apple is just clogging up. Wait a second. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I missed a spot on you. I appreciate it. Oh. Don't mess it up. All right, you're good. YouTube channel, comment is popping up down below. Let's go ahead and subscribe to the bell. Leave a comment down below. So, if you're a chance to be next to this comment of the day. So, today, me and A are doing a material survival challenge. So, we have a wheel with six items on it. Whatever we spin, we have to build our forts out of, a survival weapon out of, and we also have to be able to build a fire and catch a fish before we're allowed to leave the woods. Good lord. We're gonna spin the wheel. I'll start first. Stop squeezing my butt in every video dude, we nobody film, dude. Squeeze your butt, bro. <laughs> so, we got plastic wrap. I don't know if you guys can remember the tree house that we built, which was absolutely amazing. From the dollar store, that too. That was our best for anniversary. I don't know if you remember that. I do remember. That's it's in my calendar. Yeah, me too. Aluminum foil, paper, cardboard, wood, and granny panties. That was his idea. <laughs> We're trying to come up with six items, and he said granny panties. Is that why you wanted us to wear? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang Boom. it. Boom. All right, so whatever I get on these six, I have to build my whole entire shelter with. I don't even know what I'm hoping for, just not granny panties. That's going to be expensive, and I don't know how that would protect me. Oh! <laughs> what is it? I got... Cardboard. Cardboard. It's not bad. Yeah, that's that's doable. I can build a fort out of cardboard. <laughs> Plastic wrap, aluminum foil. That's what you call the paper. Aluminum, aluminum foil. foil. <laughs> I don't know how you'd survive with aluminum know, foil. <laughs> or a cardboard box. Those are the items. I have cardboard. AO has aluminum foil, so we're about to go buy Walmart out of all of their supplies. I'm gonna buy every one they have. I'm gonna buy all the cardboard they have. Should we go buy it? I think so. All right, perfect. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Dang, what? Say <laughs> left. All right, so here are the four items for our survival checklist. We cannot leave the woods until we complete these four things. Item number one is a fort with all the items we just spun on the wheel. Item number two is some type of defense weapon built out of those items as well. Item number three is going to be food, which is gonna be fishing gear. Item number four is going to be building a fire. Once we do those four things, we're allowed to leave. So on top of me and AO being able to buy aluminum foil and cardboard, we each get $10. He's gonna be covering the food and also the fire. I'm gonna be covering the fishing supplies with my $10. So we only have $10 for fishing items and that's where I'm gonna start. I'm super nervous because $10 for rod, reel, and lures is gonna be pretty tough. So I gotta find either a clearance section or the cheapest Walmart brand rod or reel that I can find. Okay, so first we need a rod and a reel and then we need line and then we need lures. But this knocks out three of those four options. We have the Ozark Trail combos. The only problem is these things are $10, which is all of our budget and we still need a fishing lure. So what I'm thinking, so this one right here, it's missing the inside of an eye, which could scratch the line, but it already comes with line on it. So all we would need is a dollar lure. I think if we buy this, ask them for a discount up front and then we get a one dollar lure we're well within our budget oh, oh. that's a lot of foil never really bought aluminum foil before to be honest i'm about to buy a lot so we have the great value aluminum foil that's 75 square feet i think to build a shelter we're gonna need tons and i think we're gonna have to roll it up and make it strong i believe my fort's gonna be suspended in the this air this one is two dollars per aluminum foil and there's no budget on the actual material that we have. That does not look like a lot of foil at all. We're gonna need a ton. So guys, in every single Walmart section, they always have this dollar bed. 
of spinner baits and buzz baits. And they've been a dollar for like the last 10 years. And it's one thing they haven't rose the price on. So I always look in here when I'm on a budget fishing challenge and you can get spinner baits and buzz baits that actually end up working pretty good. They only last like one fish, but when you're on a budget, these things are great. So if we throw this in here, I think we get 50% off on the rod. We might be at six bucks. We get like one more for backup. There we go, and I think we're looking good. Oh, dude, that's per oh, we're completely missing it. That's exactly what we need because these are only ten bucks. <laughs> dude, thank you. All right, well, that's what we need. Uh, yeah, if you guys have a good one. Hey, stop. Nice meeting you. Easy too, man. We ain't gonna get no more for a while. <laughs> Some subscribers, they helped me find the two broken rods in here. One's missing the inside of an eye, and the other one is just completely missing the guide here. We're gonna try to get these for like a couple bucks. We have two $1 spinner baits, but I want a soft plastic, because last time we were here, we caught them on Cinco's. We're stack piling up right now. We found a bunch of 12 packs, 225 square feet. To build a shelter that can support a man of my stature, we're gonna need the heaviest, dutiest, and the most of the heaviest, dutiest foil we can lay our hands on. Also, if we can get this video to 9,999 likes, we're gonna do a challenge for the first person to escape an island. Me versus Norm. Hey dude, good foil, you know? All right, and for $2, guys, we have the Shiner Shots, the Walmart brand, the cheapest pack of baits you could buy in here, soft plastic wise. So we'll have the moving baits, the spinner baits, we'll have this. We'll have two rods and reels for me and AO if I barter right. And all we need after that is a pack of hooks. And we're chilling. I think I can get all of it for under $10. It might sound crazy getting two rod and reel combos in four different lures, but I think we got this. These are the cheapest hooks. Eight count of three out hooks. It calls for four out EWGs with the flukes. We might not be rigging it right, but at least we'll have a hook. We'll have odds to catch a fish. Put them in the bag. So here's my plan, guys. We have two $1 spinner baits. We have a pack of dollar hooks, and we have $2 for the lures. This is five bucks in total. And we have two $10 combos, but they're both broken. So if I could get these both down to $2.50, me and Ao would both have a fishing rod reel combo with line and different lures to choose from and hooks. So hopefully we can get that for 10 bucks. It's time to go get our cardboard. Yo, what up, man? I got a crazy request. So we're gonna be surviving overnight. Do you guys have any cardboard boxes like in the back for something that we can scoop? <laughs> like in a ton of them. We might have just got the plug for the cardboard boxes, dude. Dude, if we get out of here with like a ton of cardboard and all this fishing supplies for under like 10 bucks, that's a win. Oh, that shot. Yeah, man, aluminum foil from beginning to here. A Walmart employee didn't kick me out, team leader. Most times, Walmart employees just come up and just double feet. Boom! Get out, butter. We gotta find the cheapest possible butter there is. I wish they sold one stick, but I think they're all doubles. That's good marketing. Ooh, $1.63? $1.63 in butter seasoning. Might need some drinks too, some quality H2O. So he just went into the back of Walmart to go look for boxes for us. Yeah, uh, they don't have none right now, but uh, you probably can come later on because they say they don't have cardboards right now because they just put them in a compactor, but you'll probably Dang. have some. But you guys sell cardboard. I don't think we sell them, we probably just give them to you. <laughs> Dang, all right, all right. Let's go find air. <laughs> Holy cow. That is a lot of aluminum foil. Yeah. Well, dude, I got the fishing supplies. Problem is, the guy went in the back, checked the cardboard. They just compacted all no. of it. He was like, if you came back later today, we'd have a lot more cardboard, but they just compacted it. He was super cool, though. So we might have to go to like Home Depot or something to get that. Okay. But I'm going to try to get all this for 10 bucks. Yeah, I need a lighter and then I'm done. Okay. This all could right. be three grand. Really? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I just started telling people I was making a lot of turkeys for homeless people. <laughs> really? No. All right, well, see you later, man. Yeah. That's a $9 lighter, dude. Frick. <laughs> oh, $310 already? All right, so we spent $622.06 on aluminum foil. Aluminum. They politely asked us not to film them giving us a discount, but we got each rod not for 80% off, but we got it for 50% off. So we spent $10, $15 on fishing items. You spent, did you spend $10? Right around. Right around 10 bucks? Maybe some change. Okay, so we're, we went a little bit over budget, but we had to. I mean, $15 for two rods and reels, all that stuff is good, but we have to go find cardboard. I'm gonna try to get it for free because we just spent $600. So, I might have a place. Okay. 
<laughs> well, guys, we showed up a second too late. I guess all the cardboard's gone. Might not be the best spot for cardboard anymore. Dude, as soon as we got here, it was lifted in there. I tried to stop the guy, but he just went. That's what I say, man. Cardboard's the brown gold. I guess we're gonna do another Walmart. To another Walmart or Home Depot? Let's do it. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Walmart number two. <laughs> we carry on the eight hour search for cardboard boxes. This is my dad. Hey, man. That's <laughs> where I grew up. Kind of a dump. Or do you guys have any like extra cardboard in the back of the store or something like that? Like trying to find a ton of cardboard boxes. Do you guys sell cardboard? Like any cardboard, like moving boxes we or anything? Sale. Yes. Do you know what aisle or like around what aisle? Sweet. Thank you. All right, we bought all the cardboard. <laughs> um, they didn't have any, I guess they do it in the morning. So we have basically all the cardboard yep. in Georgia. All right, we're, <laughs> we're gonna go to the river. We gotta build our forts because we're like four hours behind schedule. We actually started this in the morning, but once again, the survival challenge, we're gonna be fighting the dark. So we gotta build these things quick. We still gotta catch fish. We still have a lot of things on this checklist to complete. We're so. not even gonna have time to sleep, bro. Yeah. Put it in. <laughs> <laughs> today's video to bring you guys today's video sponsor mystery tackle box we spent so much money on these forts who knew cardboard and tin foil cost more than my mortgage we're here at dick sporting goods if you guys need a last minute christmas gift let me tell you this is the perfect gift for any fisherman you know and including yourself you can get a online subscription so it's like christmas but every single month recurring or you can come to dick sporting goods they have beautiful selections at every single one and Walmarts and everything. They also have boxes for every type of fisherman. So you could be a bass fisherman like myself. You could be a panfish and trout guy. I'm not gonna judge you, but like if that's your preferred species. <laughs> Anyways, they also have the Elite Box, which is just more fishing gear. And if you wanna be really nice, you could go mother load or juggernaut boxes full of baits. And what's really cool about these is that this is a hundred dollar box. You get $140 worth of lures, and they're always so much fun to open because you never know what comes inside. This is box number 545. There's tons of different boxes. This is box number 332, so everyone's different. So if you guys want to get a mystery tackle box for Christmas or just for yourself, make sure you use the link down below or come to Dick's Sporting Goods. I have a promo code down there too. I think it's promo code FWN. I could be wrong, but that'll save you even extra money off of your first box. So thanks to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's fort building adventure. Now back to the video. All right, folks, we have made it to the woods. We're gonna start out with our checklist on fishing is item number one to mark off. I also have a mega camera here. I'm wobbling a little bit. <laughs> it's large. This is the Ozark Trail. Say Wayfair? One ball bearing, the cheapest five, six medium light combo I've ever seen. But it was in our budget. We have a little fluke, weightless, little height down to the spot, frigid water. We got a wade and I can smell my feet right now. It's terrible. I don't know what it is. I feel like my socks get thinner when I secrete. Your feet smell bad, but like my feet smell Dude, no like- they don't. Don't come at my feet because your feet smell bad. Don't, yeah. I, I smelled your feet at the last Googing week. We were sharing that hotel room. God. I started peeing on them last night to see if that gets any sterilizing factors going. Bro, those things were right. Dude. It's, I don't know. Run, I guess would be the right word. For <laughs> I don't know why either. Like, I wash them every day, I scrub them. No matter how hard I work, nothing happens, man. Maybe see a doctor. I'm thinking about it.
of the water, like the way the water rushes over that. Yeah. Wow. Oh my oh. gosh. No, oh. I just said the hook good, dude. Oh my, yeah. No, I'm like, dude, you saw it hit a top water. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't believe I goofed up like that, man. It's just tough because my rod's broken. I have a two watt hook, six pound line. Dang, dude, I didn't even feel the bite. I just saw it. Oh, oh there goes my rod. Yeah. Yep, surviving, baby. Surviving. Thrive. This is why you guys are subscribed to learn helpful tips. Oh my gosh, dude, this is a disaster. I dude. did, man, on top water too. Oh, we could have used that so bad, man. I hope we have another opportunity. If I miss our only fish, I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> Snagged a giant. If you ever find these in the river, these are the best bait ever, especially in the fall time. These puppies right here are fish candy, dude. Finally made it to some slack water. Pitch her up there. I'm gonna let it soak to the bottom. If you let it soak all the way to the bottom, they'll kind of go up under rocks and hide. So you gotta slowly drag them. If you can find some slow moving water, you can flip it in and just let them drift, but that's a little too fast. All right. Well, guys, in a survival situation, you always have to persevere for your next meal. So even though I missed what would have been me and AO's dinner, we can still make this happen with positivity and perseverance. Rock jump. Dude, I feel like an island boy right now. All right, fishies, come on. It's current, there's a breaking current right in this little puddle. And then I caught some fish in this puddle before one time. So, oh, got him, got him, got him. We cooked that, stay on, stay on please, stay on please, I just gotta keep the line tight. Oh my gosh, stay on dude, this reel is so bad, Ayo. It's so bad. We have to land him, Ayo, come here. I'm coming, buddy. Oh, I'm just nonstop reeling. Dude. Oh my gosh, he's pulling. Oh, that's a nice little spot, brother. I really pulled it. It was like right in that slack of water. Is this spot? Yeah, dude. Yes. Oh, God, that's oh, slick. Don't, don't do me. Yeah. Oh. Dude, come on. Dinner, bro. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, these fish are so beautiful. And I mean, look at that, just barely hooked on the outside of the mouth. But honestly, at the same time, a perfect hook set. Like that's the easiest ones to get out on the Walmart fluke six pound line. He was screaming in the current. These fish are so strong. Let's see if we catch a couple of these guys, but spots are known to kill like the large mouth population. So I don't feel too bad about eating this and I've never ate a bass before. Maybe my biggest spotted bass of all time. That was awesome. I'm gonna get back out there. supplies we hold like two tons of aluminum foil out here and also all of the cardboard we started the day at 8 a.m and it's now 4 p.m it gets dark at 5 because of winter time we're gonna start building our fort and survival <laughs> scenarios you always build shelter i'm sorry my job is to construct a fort out of cardboard and we have a absolute ton of it 240 dollars to be exact but what I'm thinking is we use this as the entrance, like this natural, like kind of uprooted tree, try to build like a burrow all the way to the back. So we'll see how this goes. Yep. All right, the plan, we're gonna take aluminum foil. I have found a trend on the YouTubes where somebody took three trees and put a little spider web down. They made rope super thick, like Norm's like really thick and then they made a dome it was almost like one of those hurricane proof houses where all the wind would just curve right over it and then they curled up in there and slept all night so it's almost like an alien saucer and we're gonna get in here i think it's definitely gonna be the coolest all right the beginning of this build, we have to build aluminum foil rope. 
So I think we're gonna just lay sheet after sheet after sheet, fold it in half, then fold it in half again, then you roll it up. We're gonna do that as many times as we can, try to have the structural integrity kind of on thick, one inch aluminum foil ropes. My plan <laughs> is to somehow make cardboard a four. We used to do it with sofa pillow cushions in my house where we'd lean them up against the couch and we'd like be able to crawl through. I'm thinking the same thing with this uprooted tree, maybe an entrance. We stack up some boxes and we just have some type of roof and wall along the edge. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Honestly, I wanted like wood or granny panties, but I ended up with cardboard, so. Oh. everywhere dude if you're weak at the side of blood don't look oh oh man ah. dude i opened up this box bro and just sawed my thumb man spewing blood man wow that's extremely thin if uh if any of you moms at home are curious how 150 square feet of aluminum foil looks rolled out, that's how it looks. Not saying that only women are in the kitchen or anything, I would never say that, but just like I know that typically y'all tend to do that more than we do, like because we don't really know how to do it, you know what I mean? All right, so here's the game plan. We're gonna go with like an A-frame style survival hut, but this whole entire half is going to be one room, and then on this side of the tree, we're gonna have a secret room built just in case A.O. wants to sleep with me tonight, in case this spider tinfoil trap doesn't work, so. I'm gonna lose five pounds just laying out aluminum foil, dude. I feel like I'm just gonna have to make a ton of boxes. <clears throat> I'm thinking eight layers is what we need. We have five, three more to go. Just gonna sit down in my little chair. Gotta get it going. Build speed. It's about speed and precision, because if you just have speed, you have no precision. But if you don't have precision, you don't have speed. Ah! Perspirating for so much precision. <laughs> A lot of y'all don't know this, but in high school, ninth, 10th grade, I was a kicker. I got offers from like FSU, everything. Eighth grade, I was the only guy in the locker room. They came in there, <sighs> never seen a guy kick a field goal that long. Crazy, and I got there, aluminum foil. Woo! I'm falling downhill, baby. I don't even feel it anymore. <laughs> I need to hit the gym so bad. We're just making all the boxes. <laughs> Some babies. I was getting pretty hungry. The final one. <sighs> Gotta work into a rhythm. Start slow. Oh, then you start to feel it. Now it's downhill. Woo, about the 25 yard mark, it starts to burn. That's when I picture Norm's granddad. Ah! And then I feed up, baby. Woo. And that's a rope, baby. I just gotta fold it up. I'm about to have that booty popping. Oh! Roll my ankle, dude. <laughs> dude, that's when you know it's getting bad. When you roll your ankle just walking back, I'm fatiguing, but my vertical is doubled. <laughs> well folks <laughs> welcome to fort norm so you can kind of see it coming together we have 
We have the flooring in. We have basically what I would call the foundation, the bricks to the house. So we still gotta lay the shingles. We still gotta add the panels. We're gonna add some cover on the outside, but this is just what's gonna hold it all together. So I'm gonna duct tape every single cardboard box together. I kinda did like one strand of it around the top. There's basically gonna be a little door here, roof, and then we're pretty much done. And I might start El Pigeo, cause it, is, it looks really cool, but it's a lot more work than putting boxes together. You watching the tutorial? Yeah. Dude, don't lie. Were you watching a Jack Harlow interview? Dude, no, bro. But I, if, I'm kind of similar to Jack Harlow, though. You do remind me a lot of Jack Harlow. I think it might be like the facial structure. Red. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see that. <laughs> Dude. What? You can't say that. Can you say that? All right, so welcome to the inside of my fort. It might seem open right now, like an open con. There's a spider on the GoPro. You guys see this? Oh. So I'm gonna set you guys up here. My plan is to duct tape the whole entire inside of my fort. Kind of give it more structural integrity because if we get a big gust of wind, this thing is falling over. This one's barely staying up. I'm about to use five rolls of duct tape and see if we can make this thing stay. I tried to make that look fast, but it took three hours, one rope. So, these three trees are gonna be the pillars, foundational standpoints, foundation of my hammock dome. Pretty sure that's poison ivy. The thing that I did wrong, I got too long of tin foil. Pretty sure that I needed eight foot strips, so we might have to cut these. That's pretty impressive. That's just one rope. We're gonna double these up. Yeah, girl. Trying to tie a tiny knot right over the poison ivy vine. Burn. So, you can tell, we're gonna have an outer rim. Tree, tree, tree. Then we're just gonna spider web it. Make it as thick as possible. Well guys, Dude Perfect went to space and I'm building a cardboard fort in the middle of the woods. So if you're here right now, you're a real one. Probably the cutest Star Wars character of all time. Wow, that's crazy. That gives me faith. I mean, it's a little wobbly, but a gust of wind isn't gonna knock this over. Hey, oh, dude, I finished my structure. Oh, wow. Yeah, I duct taped them together. The duct tape, like, wasn't, I'm more of a Gorilla Tape guy, to be honest with you. Ah. It wasn't, it wasn't sticking right, but, you know, you give it, like, a little push. Wow, dude. That could withstand Hurricane Gerst. Oh, this is the foundation. This is the bricks to the house. We don't have the shingles or the wood or the panels for the windows. We don't even have the windows. Wow. We don't have the furniture. It's just the foundation. The foundation. But to have us- We've been laying for our YouTube channels. Yep. To take over 2023. 2023, better watch out. Ooh, 2023, you're so scared. Jack Harlow. Yep. Hit me up. <laughs> yeah. Jack Harlow, I know you're watching this right now, dude. If you want to come build forts with us in the woods, it just shoot us a DM. Our DMs are always open. I, I personally don't go through mine. Manager does. But I'm sure my manager, I'll, t I'll tell her to look out for your DM. You got a manager? We have the same manager. <laughs> Jack Harlow, man. If you want to film, 
We're big fans, dude. Same with Theo Vaughn, man. Yeah, yeah Theo Vaughn, Jack Harlow. Should we just shoot our shots while we're shooting them? Who else? Yeah, dude, Theo Vaughn. If you're watching this, I DM'd you, you didn't respond. And so. then I DM'd him the same thing after you did it, because I thought yeah. it was funny just to see if you responded to me. He also didn't respond, so. Kind of messed up, man. Yeah. Anybody else? Mm. Jack Black? Jack Black. Yeah. <laughs> I just I don't want to ruin it because I know you got to get all the supporting beams. Let, give me give me a little bit of time. Yeah, that's possible. Make though. one more rope. We have plenty of tin foil, aluminum foil. We can make the inner locking of the spider web hammock. Then we can take sticks, wrap the sticks in tin foil, have those be our beams of our shelter. You're gonna see it when it comes together gonna give you shivers down to your soul. You wanna catch up? Yeah. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, surviving. It burns. If you wanna go to the opposite end, we're folding in, we want the crease to be in the center. So you have a fold basically in the third. Third in, third in. And gotcha. Then so the outside thirds come to meet in the middle third. Yes. Gotcha. I'll start over there. All right. We'll get this done twice as quick. Yes, sir. <laughs> loose it's really loose i put it on there so tight but the longer the rope is the more less tension it has next step we need to build a shelter we have something that'll keep me off the ground but i think the dome is going to be the most necessary part of this structure oh, i'm adding a little bit of ao flavor into this build it's completely going off the rails of the tutorial i watched we're going to take curvatured sticks or sticks with an arch and we're gonna yeah. wrap them in tin foil so we don't have to make another two mile long rope oh man like the saran wrap one it was sturdy that's like has some bend in it but it might be like a fancy hammock that's what i'm kind of hoping for most hammocks have a little dip to her yeah i'm nervous though i'm nervous too i'm not gonna lie <laughs> up to me down to you yeah Dude, I feel like we're about to spawn a gate to like the third dimension. <laughs> like this, this looks like we're about to open a portal. It do. What I was thinking, imagine if we would have done this, but Thank wood it. on the. Yeah, I can. It's gonna be the most timely part. I feel like. God. Timely. Dude, it's good. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go out the back, probably. My best up. Oh. oh, that's so fun, dude. This rope didn't stand a chance. Oh. I'll be over there in a second. Good, like it's a nap spot. You can yeah. rest an hour. All right, so welcome to my fort, dude. So you walk in, I had a front door here, but I threw it over there. Yeah, man. But, oh, I don't know, I mean. It's kind of nice. Think about it. You have a little bed, have a little yeah. 
down, was that the basement? Yeah, it's kind of like a recliner almost too, man. Yeah, it is. Kind of like releases the spine. Yeah. Let's your foot weight pull your back out while you sleep. Right. But dude, the roof's kind of cool. I added some nature in here. There's a big tree. I um, like that. Built the cardboard in with the, kind of like the, uh, the open concept vibe. Yep. Dude, it's gorgeous. You're gorgeous. It smells like a factory. <laughs> it does smell like a factory. I like it, man. I feel like I'm inside of capitalism right now. Oh, yeah, sir. It's nighttime. We waited like an hour. So we have a fillet knife. The problem is to get the knife out, you need a knife. So I'm going to let you work on that. We also have matches. So we're going we're gonna to start a fire. The only two things left on our to-do list is to cook the fish and make a fire. And then we're good. Also... While well, this has gone on, A was lost his truck keys and we looked the last two hours to find them. Wow, you're a strong man. Thanks, dude. So, I didn't lose my truck keys. Somebody hid them as a prank. <laughs> I didn't hide them. <laughs> so anyways, A was gonna clean the fish off camera. I'm gonna start the fire and we will have officially checked off everything. What is beeping? Go, bro. Dang, dude. We have to start it over. Yeah, dude. I'll put this back in the package. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of the cardboard because we bought like an extra five pallets of it. So we're gonna use a little bit of this. We're gonna find some twigs to put this fire together. But we only have these weatherproof matches. What's really cool about these or stormproof matches is that they come in these little bags. So I guess if it were to rain, you still would have usable matches. I'm gonna try to find some small twigs and some bigger twigs. We gotta get some hot coals to cook this fish. But guys, it's pretty cold out here. I'm hoping that tonight my cardboard little shelter keeps me warm this fire would definitely probably change our attitudes it's a cardboard oh. okay, we got that start breaking some small sticks team doll So it's, it's more like a bunch of chunks. I just kept going back and cutting more and more pieces off. So okay. a little bit of a fish nugget. But There's a good amount of meat there though. There is this camping thing. Have you ever heard of like the homeless? Yep. Yeah, we used to make them all the time as a kid. Like I'm, I'm being 100% for real. Yep, well this is the same, same yeah. thing. We have butter, red hot seasoning, the most ugly filet I've ever made. We're gonna wrap it up. Shove it on the coals. I'm actually so excited, dude. It's gonna be really good. <laughs> it's, I might eat the whole thing. It's my first time trying bass too, so no better way to do it than over the campfire. I think they call them uh, hobo meals. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they are. Oh, dude, is there's nothing better than waking up in the morning and having a hobo meal with like, you have you put like onions, peppers, like sausage, yeah, eggs. Yeah, sausage, egg. That's yeah. Oh my gosh, you throw a little bit of salt and pepper in there too. Oh, Some cold. bay leaves. Ooh. Talk to me, boy. All right, yeah, there's some good coals right here. Woo! How long do you leave it in for, do you know? Nope. All right, Zor. That's great. Life, man, even when it's all burning down, it's still so beautiful. God, it looks so sick. It's like uh, like night lights. I saw them in the woods at some point in time, like eight hours ago. You promise. <laughs> I promise. You don't. I don't Why are you standing on me like this? If my shirt and mama has to drive here, <laughs> has to drive here in the dark, and you know where my keys are? <laughs> I didn't hide your keys. <laughs> you know. Let's take this fish yeah, out, dude, man. Let's eat. Okay. So we have our fish. Time to see if it's super burnt or super raw or just right. Dude, that actually looks, it's either raw or perfect. I like that that looks burned on the edges. Like that's crusty. Yeah. I like that. Well, dude, let's uh, give it a try. Oh, it's still really warm. Is it really? Yeah. Does that look cooked to you? This looks cooked. Oh, there's a scale in there, dude. Come on. Dude, I didn't have but <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. All right. Mm. I'm going in for more, dude. That's actually amazing. Like, I like the seasoning. Whatever you got, it's really good. 
Dude, I can make a mean fish sandwich with that seasoning. Yeah. I'm so serious. Ah. Got dirt in that bite. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to eat the rest of this up. And uh, I guess the only thing left on our list is to go sleep in our survival shelters. Simple enough. So, all right. It has gotten pretty late. The fort is not what you once was, but I think it should hold me for most of the night. Not too bad. We're covered. Roof has a couple little holes, nothing serious, but pretty much a comfy little hammock. All right, I gotta, I gotta equalize. Oh! <laughs> that is awesome! I just felt one break beneath my bottom. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like leaning on your kneecaps. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> This is incredible. This is a success. This is almost 500 pounds of man. It is. Yeah. Held by tin foil. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Dude, stop moving your finger under me. Uh, I'm not. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have your keys. Dude, stop, dude. That's my booty. <laughs> That's not me, dude. That's just the rope. Oh! Get out of here, dude. Go All to right. the box out. Yep, I'm going to my fort, man. Good luck with this thing staying up. It actually might go through the night. Yeah, dude. Alright. Well, I'll see you later. I'll just be over in my box for you to come hang out. Okay, dude. I'm not getting out of here. Alright, dude. See you later. See you later. Good night. bedtime feel like it's probably 2 or 3 a.m. at this point we didn't get any blankets because we only had $20 in the store so I'm just gonna sleep here but it's actually you know not too cold but we're gonna lay down here Ao is gonna lay in his fort if it stays up he might come in here later tonight but I'm just gonna try to get some sleep because we've checked everything off the list so I guess the last thing I have to do is just sleep here so Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on. Oh, that scared me. All right. Good night, guys.